Why hello everyone. Gregory Beston. Canadian Memorials. Well everyone. We completed the project. We are at the 4th Avenue Cemetery here in Regina, Saskatchewan. And I pledge to videotape every grave of all the veterans I could find. And now, I bring you the completion of the project. It took a year and a half, we'll say. I worked on it piece by piece, bit by bit, mile by mile. But now we have all the veterans recorded. We have a lot posted. It's gonna take well into 2024 to post them all, but at least winter won't stop us now. Would have been nice if we got her done when all the flowers were here, but what could we do? It's very fascinating, all the names that you stumble across. Native Americans, people from other countries. I found American soldiers, and even someone from the Russian Imperial Army, which we'll have to uh, do more research on. Uh, I tried my best to get all the veterans outside the memorial gardens here. Uh, I believe I got a lot of them, but it's going to require further combing to make sure because you got to read each one of them and not all of them look like these ones here. So that'll be a project coming in spring. Of course, we'll be uh, recording other graveyards across the province as well and getting all the other major ones. There's another graveyard here in Regina that has, this one has a thousand, that one has to have like 6,000. So that'll take another couple of years to get loaded up, but it'll be fun all the same. I've already gotten feedback from people saying that their relatives were in here and they look forward to seeing them online and lots of these gentlemen are getting lots of visits which is the goal that was intended. We've been learning a lot visiting the graveyards uh, the composition of each stone, the shape that they've taken, and sometimes veterans prefer their own stones that aren't the ones presented in front of us now and other shapes. So it makes them a little bit more difficult to find, but as long as we go and read them all and look at them, we uh, should discover most of them. It's been painstaking. I've been yammering on about completing this and I'm really glad that we did. I might have to redo a few because I tried to do some in winter, spring. So we'll go over all those and if any gentlemen need to be re-represented, that'll come too. 
Sometimes we find stones with large amounts of growth on them that uh, we have to get rid of before we could present them. And uh, so far we've been lucky with some of that. It would be interesting to uh, learn how to properly clean them in case of a scenario where the growth is way too hard to get off. It's interesting the different stuff, like sometimes mold grows on them, these yellow stuff. Like that guy. And then sometimes there's moss, just plant debris that gets trapped in the letters and grows. Learn about um, marble and granite, which appears to be, and these ones seem to be concrete forms, but uh, there's a couple of uh, random ones of different stones. Everyone, there's not much to say. Um, I'm really happy that we finally completed this and then that we can focus on other directions for a bit. I'm hoping to load enough markers and gravestones to keep us satisfied through the winter months because it is very impossible to record the graves during winter time uh, and they look a lot better, at least during fall, spring, summer. But everyone, please be good. Please be kind. Please be careful. And let's all together respect our veterans.